At CSUMB, we have both a men's and women's rugby team. They're both club sports. They're two of the biggest club sports on campus. And we compete in the North Cal Leagues for the men's and women's uh, and are part of the larger USA Rugby organization. So we have opportunities to go on to national championship matches. One of the men's alumni is actually currently representing our national team in rugby sevens. So a very strong tradition here at CSUMB. I'm really happy to be part of it. In the kinesiology department, we've been very fortunate to have a lot of interest in the undergrad students to come and help out with our various research projects. So my current major research project is looking at the scrum. The scrum is a part of rugby that happens when the ball goes dead from a minor infraction. So to restart play in the sport, you have eight people from each team, they bind up and they go head to head, shoulder to shoulder, and they push against each other. And the ball's thrown in the middle and they push back and forth and try to win possession of the ball to be able to play on. So a very important part of the game, very unique part of rugby. Uh, and what we see looking at the statistics is that while the injury rates in the scrum are not super high, when they do happen, unfortunately, they tend to be uh, very severe. So we're really looking at how we can improve that to keep our athletes safe uh, and just improve the performance in the game. For example, behind me, this is the scrum machine that we bought and instrumented. So we put load cells on the back and so they wire up into the computer and uh, we're able to record how hard students are, uh, our athletes are pushing on this. So we've had our research students come in and help with every aspect of this from uh, measuring the joint angles on the athletes, getting them in position, uh, you know, conducting all those tests. So from this one test, it only lasts six seconds, uh, but from that single test, you get an Excel file with over 10,000 data points. Three, two, one. Push, 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 and so our students have to go through and figure out, you know, what does all of this, these numbers mean? Where is there just, you know, noise that's interfering with the data? Where is the actual force output that's meaningful? So they have to start cutting it down, uh, cleaning it up, preparing it for analyses. I've been working with Dr. Martin since the spring of 2017. Um, I've been working with the men and women's rugby team in the weight room and also with research. Um, I also had the opportunity to help Dr. Martin with research and weightlifting over the summer as well. Um, and so far I've completed two research projects and currently working on one um, with some other students and we'll be presenting that um, in March for the NSTA conference. And so the next step is gonna be, once they get all these uh, meaningful numbers out of the test, they'll get the opportunity to actually do the statistical analysis and then present our results at different conferences. So for example, internally every spring we have the undergraduate research uh, showcase. And so all of our students will each get to present their own poster based on all the different things we investigated in this rugby research. And we hope for them to go on to, for example, the CSU wide research competition, and then to go present at professional conferences such as the National Strength and Conditioning Association, and the American College of Sports Medicine. The College of Health Sciences and Human Services at Cal State Monterey Bay. Helping people live longer, happier, and healthier lives.